This is the first flight with the DJI Mini 4 Pro, the goggles integrate and the motion controller and I found it extremely difficult. What you see there, the big picture is through the drone's camera and the top right is where is what I see through the goggles. And you can, looking at the bottom left, ends for normal, that's the normal flight. H is for height as it slowly rises and the distance is the distance from me, which is referred to as the home point. On the right hand side, it's telling me how long I've been flying, what the signal strengths are and so on. I'm just moving it about with the controller and I'm having to get used to it. And then I'm gonna fly across the valley to the bottom left there, the, the, the valley on the far side and get moving. So we should see how we go. I can see already that um, just trying to fly across at a consistent speed, um, pulling the trigger is quite difficult. So I'm going to have to minimize the speed. I can set it so that it can only go to a certain speed where I'll be able to pull it back fully and not have to guess. You can already see that uh, I'm flying at 290 feet above the point that I'm where I'm sat and uh, the distance now is 1,500 1,600 feet so it's a fair way away I'm just going up the valley slowly and quietly um, you can see the cross and the circle the circle and the cross are where the drone is heading uh, as seen through the goggles it's the other information is now beginning to tell me my battery is at 84 and I've 32 minutes left of flying. Um, also the both the um, controller signal and the battery are pretty full. I've also got uh, 25 satellites that I'm connected to so the signal is very strong. We are now at uh, 260 feet altitude and we are 3,700 3, feet away and looking across the top of the hills, the very top, sweeping right round Hackington, Pallium, there's Pendlil in the distance and then slowly turning round and looking back to where I took off from. stop and hover I can see the um, the camera moving up and down the drone moving up and down. that's me with the motion controller trying to keep it still now it's at this point that I press the return to home button and it the drone then turns around and starts to head back from where it took off as it's now doing it's heading to the center of the picture the car park where I am it's coming back of its own accord as you can see the distance is reducing I can stop it at any point 
and then continue but it's now there's no input to the controller uh, which I find difficult to use but there again I've only just started and this is the first flight takeoff point um, where the cars are parked I'm sat down just in front of them there's a park bench a little bench there and I'm sat there with a red coat the drone will come as near as it can to directly above me from where it took off the camera will then tilt down it'll look at where it's attempting to land and head for it which in this case is a table which I'll stop it from landing on because it's a rough edge. <laughs> As you can see, I'm having a little bit of bother with the controller. I'm not confident enough to land it on the table. So I'm buffeting about a fair bit looking for somewhere to land. I normally have a flat landing pad that opens out, but I've forgotten it today. I'm just trying to get used to it. Every movement of the controller is exaggerated, but eventually I'll, I'll bring it down nearer. It's giving me, in the goggles, it's giving me the height above the ground. It's now getting critical, down to four. And I'm trying to find somewhere, three and a half feet. I'm still trying to find somewhere, which I should do, and then it'll just land. The rotors will put it. to take off now and uh, head up the valley, the valley to the left of this picture as it takes off, which goes over into Yorkshire and Widdop. Um, I'm just going to go right up the centre to the crest of the hill, which is a fair distance, and um, just let it go on up there. I'm keeping it going reasonably fast, but then I sort of relax and uh, as I said it's quite hard to maintain a steady speed on the trigger unless you adjust it so that you can cruise at the maximum speed and not put any effort into it. So I now leave the uh, takeoff place and head off towards the valley. You can see the, uh, there's a small track there with a vehicle on it but the main road coming from the left behind those trees on the left and it goes right on up over the crest of the hill and down past Widdop Reservoir um, there are a few scattered houses out here and that farm you can see the farm just above the trees there on the left it's two brothers have that and they've got a, a license to um, let sheep roam over the wild moorland um, or I think it's 20 25 square miles which is good for them they use drones to be able to find where the sheep are without having to go out on the uh, on the little tracks so we're heading on now up the valley there'll be cars coming up and down as we go up.
This is about as wild as moorland gets. Um, dark area shaded with a cloud. But it's really wild moorland. It is um, designated in nesting season a place of uh, scientific interest. So obviously you wouldn't fly drones and things up here, not in the nesting season. And here I go, I decided to try to just climb to the top so I could see over into Yorkshire, down into the Widdup Reservoir, which I managed to do. And at the moment, I'm just short of 4,000 or 5,000 feet away. I've got the light on underneath the drone, so I can still see it. Um, and there we go, in, in the distance is Yorkshire, and the reservoir beginning to come into sight. I could continue with the drone for some considerable distance and as long as I've got line of sight between my antenna and the drone it will continue for up to 20 miles but of course I'm stuck with the visual line of sight rules so I have to turn now slowly face back down still a bit juddery because I'm getting used to the controller and I'm looking right back to the crest of that hill halfway up below the summit of Pendle and that's where I am. So as you can see, it's uh, 5,700 feet. Now I'm going to um, implement the return to home again, which I'll continue to do until I um, get more confident with it, with the controller. It's now automated coming back for where it took off. Stop you getting confused um, when you're looking through the goggles. You can see what I'm seeing in the top right hand corner where that cross is in the centre with the H. That's the home position. That's where the drone's heading from. It's just uh, a little bit higher than that, but that's the general direction. Because it's quite easy to, because um, you've got reduced spatial awareness when you're wearing goggles. Uh, I find myself um, keep taking them off and having a good look, um, which is not, not suitable, but there you go. It's still under the um, return to home, the automatic transmission. We are 360 feet up and flying a steady 22 miles an hour. If I put it into speed mode, it would speed up to 40 odd miles an hour, but I'm not bothered, I want to take some video. Now when I do eventually switch it to FPV, it will, uh, as I turn left or right, the horizon will tilt, which will seem even stranger, but uh, I'm not just ready for that yet. decided to pause the return to home and just have a look around, come down a little bit, reduce height, down to 170 feet and then uh, just have a look around really. Put the return to home back on and now as you can see with the H and the cross it's pointing to where it's going which is that car park area where the two cars are driving past. Stop. I've stopped it again before continuing on. Just have a look at Pendle. 
and now I'm continuing. And that's it for today. Still getting used to this controller, finding it difficult to land with any precision, so bear with me. Hey look, it's Captain Birdseye, the handsome bugger. I just thought I'd come that near that I'd just trim my eyebrows, my eyebrows and my eyelashes, which I've done. Anyway, it's time I landed now, so. Stop buggering about. I'm four foot above the ground. I'm facing the way I were when I took off. I can't land on the table. It's not not smooth enough. So right now, I'm going to just hover, ponder my future, scratch my navel, come over, find, find a bit of ground with low grass and just come right down and get it all over. No, I'm undecided. I'll go back. No, I'm spinning round. What the bloody hell am I doing? I know. I'll be careful. I'll give myself a bloody haircut. Bugger me. This motion controller takes some getting used to, but I'm going to land. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.